Hey, what's up, y'all? This right here is a quadruple piston extender. So you hit the button, it pushes that block there out, and if you hit the button again, it'll pull the block right back in. What's cool about this design is that it's pretty easily expandable. So here's the same thing, but with 12 pistons instead of four. So just like before, block gets all the way pushed out to the end. Uh, what's kind of weird is that it's not the absolute optimal sequence. You can see the block here is like oddly pulled back in for a second, but sure enough, after about 10 seconds, all the pistons line right back up at the start. The retraction is exactly the same sequence. So what's going on here is just we have a little clock that sends a pulse down this line of repeaters. You can see about one in three of them are turned on. And then over here, this is just a long pulse maker that keeps this clock on for, in this case, about 15 seconds or so. And in exchange for that slight loss in speed, we're getting a huge increase in size savings. So as you can see, if you have an existing build and want to toss some weird contraption like this in as decoration, you don't need too much extra space to hide the redstone somewhere. And because all the pistons are getting powered from only one spot, you can use this thing on top of a flush floor. By the way, if you didn't know, you can actually put comparators and repeaters on top of trap doors. It looks silly, but I really like the slim look it gives to redstone builds. For context, this right here is another arbitrarily expandable piston extender made by Avogadro. And this one does expand and retract in the absolute fastest possible theoretic time. You can see how just how much circuitry was needed to do that. And even Matt Batwing's extender from his recent Summer of Math Exposition video, it's pretty big too. Although to be fair, between the extender I'm showing in this video, Avogadro's extender, and this one, this is probably the healthiest balance of size, speed, and simplicity to understand and build. The main problem with this kind of design is that the speed gets a lot worse for anything over 12 pistons. This is a 20 piston version, and it's gonna take somewhere around five minutes to finish retracting. What's cool is you can see that while it's running, it'll continuously like divide itself up into different sub extenders and Tractors. And these will like join together and split in some kind of weird like conga line dance where the conga lines are continuously merging and splitting from each other. In fact, Spacewalker, who showed this concept to me, ran a 46 piston version of this and that one took like six hours to finish. In fact, Spacewalker actually contacted me just because these things are so chaotic with the way that the different like sub extender portions interact with each other and the way they interact with the block at the end. Spacewalker was just trying to find out if these always even retract the block back in, like if they even work at the end of the day. It turns out that these kinds of extenders, which uh, by the way, Spacewalker has been calling snappers extenders, but because of the sheer amount of math and computation that Spacewalker has done on them, I'd be much happier if they were called Spacewalker extenders. Either way, they always do retract at the end of the day, but the math needed to prove that rigorously is, well, weird. The math turns out to be really closely related to cellular automata and to some unsolved problems in number theory. I'll give that math its own video someday. Well, that is if I can actually follow through on a project for once. As a quick example for how weird these get, here is the first uh, through the ninth snappers or spacewalker extenders that were all started at exactly the same time. In my opinion though, this is what math is all about, man, is taking some weird behavior you find somewhere in your life, in this case in Minecraft circuitry and coming up with some equations and charts and seeing if you can get your head around how it works and why it works the way it does. But for now, I just wanted to share these two more practical designs that I ran into along the way. To make the four piston extender, you start with seven observers with the sensing side up and the powering side down. And then whichever direction you want it to extend in, you're gonna place one more observer uh, powering away from that direction. Then on top of all of these, you're gonna go ahead and put down repeaters, and these should all be set to the second setting. So four game ticks or two redstone ticks. Then two blocks back here with a torch and some redstone dust on it. To start it, you just attach a power source to this block and there you go, it'll start ticking. One in three repeaters will be on. Place down the rest of your pistons, four in total. Block you wanna move there. And if you're fine with running this thing by hand, then you're done already. This is a perfectly good quadruple piston extender. The only part that we need to add is a long pulse generator on here so that we can hit a button and it'll run the extender for just the right amount of time. The pulse generator is also extremely simple. It's just redstone on top with a comparator facing away from your extender and then a button here. And 
there you go. That'll extend it for just the right amount of time. The setup for the 12 piston extender is near identical. You have, you know, obviously 12 pistons on the bottom, but 23 of the downward observers up here. The repeaters in the clock here are exactly the same. And in general, if you want to build like a 50 piston extender of this kind, the amount of observers you need is double the pistons minus one. So for 50 pistons, you would need double 100 minus one, 99 downward observers. The clock is pretty much just the same thing, but just stretched out a bit with more comparators. Five comparators on the bottom facing away from your extender, then a couple redstone here, and this is where the signal drop is that allows this thing to actually be a like pulse creator and then four more comparators on the top here redstone dust in there and a button and you are good to go yeah it works like a charm but that's all for me for now my name is chris thanks for watching